Hey, I'm Dave Isaacs, and I teach music here in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, this is my main instrument. So primarily, I teach on guitar, and most of my students play the guitar. But I say that I teach music because no matter what you intend to do with this thing, it's a vehicle. It's a tool. It's a way of expressing musical ideas. So my teaching is about using this instrument to the best of your ability to make the music that you want to make. Now, for everyone, that does include a certain amount of technical work. You want to be able to get around. You want to be able to express the ideas that you have and not have your fingers get in the way. You also want to have a vocabulary. So you want to know how to play chords down in this area, but also to move up the neck and to have a full repertoire of things that you can pull from, both in your performance and creation of music. Now, I've worked with all kinds of students, from small children taking their first steps in music, to retirees that finally have the time to learn an instrument they've always wanted to play, to professionals that are out there on the road and in the recording studio right now. Now, I've been teaching music for over 30 years, and so there's some things that I've come to believe very, very strongly over that time. One is that everybody can learn how to play. Maybe not everybody is going to be a virtuoso, and maybe not everybody's going to learn easily, but everybody can learn something. And it really has to do most of all with getting clear on what your goals are and what you want to do in music and how hard you're willing to work to get there. But I will also say this, a lot of it is not as hard as you think. I think when it comes to the way you approach the instrument, that there is basic mechanics to the way that our bodies are made, the way a guitar is made, and the two of them get along. And so when it comes to technique, it's just about making sure that your body moves fluidly, that the instrument rings out. It's that simple. And so anything that you do that gets in the way, any kind of tension in either hand, tension in your body, could even have to do with your breathing or the way that you hold your neck or your shoulders or your jaw. It could be an awkward hand position. It could be that you're holding yourself a way that you believe you're supposed to, but it's actually becoming an obstacle for you. I think the way to be a fluid player is to tune into your body and to tune into the way it feels to play and the way that it sounds and start to notice the relationship between those things and recognize that there's a difference between something that's unfamiliar and something that's actually physically awkward. And once you realize that, I think it becomes a whole lot easier to be a smooth player and I think it becomes a whole lot easier to get comfortable, which is honestly one of the biggest obstacles for people right from the beginning. Especially, say, a singer that has spent a lot of time on stage and is very comfortable using their body, but then they go to use the guitar and there's this box hanging around your neck that's distracting all your mental energy. You need to physically get comfortable with it. And once you do, then it just becomes a part of you. And it takes time for that to happen, but if you look at that as the goal, you're that much more likely to get there. The other thing you really have to recognize is that this is a tool. It's a means to an end. It's a way that you express your musical ideas. So when you've developed your facility, your ability to get around, and you've developed your vocabulary, the different things that you know how to do on the instrument, the trick is to make sure that that's all directed by what's going on up here. You want to learn to be a good listener. You want to learn to be reactive to what you play and to what you hear around you. And then you become a musician and not just someone that plays the guitar. And that is the goal. And so for everyone that I work with, whether you're just learning to play, to be able to sing some songs you like, or whether you want to get in a band, or whether you're writing music or want to write music, if you're a songwriter, if you're a performer, if you're none of those things, my goal is to help you be a better musician and to understand what that means. Because I think it's one of the coolest things in the world, and I love to share that. And that's what I do here at Nashville Guitar Guru. So I want to encourage you to browse the website, NashvilleGuitarGuru.com. Follow me on Facebook. Follow the YouTube channel. I'm posting videos all the time, posting blogs all the time, instructional material, inspirational material, stuff that I just think is cool. I love to share this. Music and the guitar are my favorite things to geek out on. So come and geek out with me and learn how to be the best musician you can be.